Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is to have my complete uh, Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice uh, collection, a uh, kind of compilation of all the videos and all the books that I've gotten. Um, I have gotten five more editions of Pride and Prejudice, so I will show you those. And then uh, after that, uh, I will uh, put the other uh, videos and books uh, after. Uh, so hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's going to be a longer video, uh, but uh, it's just one that you're just going to see all these just great fun editions. So uh, some of the ones that I recently got was Pride and Prejudice, but this is... Um, uh, there we go. A Japanese edition. Uh, I really like the lettering that they have. It came in this uh, kind of book uh, protective uh, case, and I didn't want to uh, take it out. Uh, but yeah, it's a Japanese edition, and I think I have uh, several uh, Pride and Prejudice in several uh, different languages, so that is kind of fun to have. Um, another one is uh, this edition. It is the let me look. Uh, Articus editions. Um, it comes in a set of the rest of the of the, her books, and I really like that. So there's that one. I like the the like lime green. Uh, this next edition is one that uh, was just so pretty, I had to get it. And it's kind of a nod to uh, the original books, the original books that Pride and Prejudice came in with the, the peacock. Um, but yeah, just gold, gold foiling, pretty peacock back. And this is the, uh, it says collector's edition, uh, Wordsworth, Wordsworth collector's edition. So I really like that one. And then the last two for to, uh, that I recently got uh, are probably some of my favorites. Um, maybe not my favorite, but like very up there with my favorites. Um, this is the Puffin and Bloom edition. It just came out um, within the past week or two at the time of recording of this video. And uh, it's just, I, I really like uh, the Puffin and Blooms. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. So, and all the flowers. So, I really like the, the edition of this. And the last one, I just really like. I love the illustrations. Um, it's the Whimsical Publishing Pride and Prejudice editions. Um, she is going to hopefully do the all six books uh she already came out with emma and they just announced sense and sensibility so um i'm super excited for that i really the, one of the things i like about this edition is not only the, is the cover like very pretty and gorgeous but you take the cover off and it has another picture of elizabeth and darcy so i just really really like that so those are the most five newest books that I have uh, got, and um, so following will be uh, the other editions that I have. So uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, let me know which were some of your favorite editions uh, that you've seen. Do you have any any that I should get for maybe a future book haul? Um, definitely let me know. Uh, anyway, enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Emma again. I, to, since it's February, I wanted to do a post of one of my most favorite romantic books of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, there have been lots of different versions of Pride and Prejudice that have come out, and I have quite a few of them, so I wanted to share with uh, those with you today, uh, and uh, in honor of Valentine's Day and uh, Elizabeth and Darcy. So, 
Of course, there is the original Pride and Prejudice. Uh, Jane Austen, as you guys know, is one of my favorite authors, and it, if you haven't read Pride and Prejudice, you have to. It's funny, witty, and a uh, classic. Uh, the next books I want to show you, uh, the next few are children's books of Pride and Prejudice. Um, the first one, it's uh, Little Miss Austen, Pride and Prejudice, um, by uh, Jennifer Adams, and art by Allison Oliver. Th this is part of um, b the Baby Lit collection, and it's one of my favorite, 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 favorite um, uh, baby books there. So they, they take different um, classics and put them for uh, babies, and this one is a counting primer, so I'll show you. So number one, uh, An English Village. Um, two, Rich Gentlemen. Um, five, Sisters, Elizabeth, Mary, uh, Jane, Kitty, Lydia, and my favorite, <laughs> number 10, 10,000 pounds a year. So uh, this is really cute. It gets infants to the vocabulary of uh, these classics. So this is one of uh, my favorites. Uh, a friend actually gave this to me for my birthday. She's like, I don't know if you want it because it's a baby book, but I thought it was so cute and so hilarious. So yeah, this is the next one. Uh, the next one is also um, a baby book, but uh, from another collection. And they kind of do the same thing is they take classic books um, and this is uh, the cozy classics, Pride and Prejudice, and the pictures are so pretty. So, Friends, and it shows uh, Darcy and Bingley, Sisters, um, Dance, and then um, Taking a Walk. And these are the reason why it's called cozy classics is because all the people are made out of yarn, so it's just so very very cute. And then they get married. So this is uh, also uh, one of the ones I like. It is by um, Jack and Holman Wang. Uh, they also have like War and Peace, Moby Dick, Great Expectations. So this is another um, children's uh, book collection that's very very cute. Um, the next one is Good Night, Mr. Darcy by um, uh, Kate Combs and illustrated by Ali Arnold. It's, it's a spoof off of Good Night Moon. Um, not quite as rhymy and catchy, but still really cute. Um, and Mr. Darcy's su uh, surprised by a fine pair of eyes. So you can kind of see... Uh, that so good night ballroom, good night buffoon. So there's Mr. Collins. Um, and then good night, Mr. Darcy, good night pride. So it's pretty cute. Um, so the next ones that I have um, are for older readers. The, the first one is uh, First Impressions by uh, Deborah White Smith. It's a kind of a modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, it's about a girl named Edie, and she's cast in the role of Elizabeth in um, the the city's play of Pride and Prejudice. And then she clashes with the guy who plays Mr. Darcy. So it was um, a fast read. It was cute. I read this many, 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 many years ago, so I don't remember all the details, but I remember it was a, a fun, f fun, fast read. Um, and it, she also writes, she also uh, wrote a modern retelling of each of uh, Jane Austen's uh, other uh, novels. Uh, the next one is a companion novel for The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by uh, Bernie Sue and Kate Roderick. Uh, if you guys have not seen the uh, YouTube uh, channel for The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, it uh, is very cute. It's modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice, and this is kind of like a companion novel. I haven't finished it, uh, but it's pretty cute. Uh, the 
uh, it doesn't go a lot, 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 lot more in depth to uh, the episodes that you see on the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, uh, but still, um, if you liked if you like the show, it's a good uh, companion piece uh, to have. Uh, the next one is a trio, and it is called Fritz, Willie, Fritz William Darcy Gentleman. And it's a, a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, but from uh, Mr. Darcy's uh, point of view. So the first one is called An Assembly Such as This. And the uh, second one is Duty and Desire. And um, these three uh, remain. It uh, so the first one kind of does the first chunk of Pride and Prejudice where he meets Elizabeth, and uh, you know they dance at the balls and stuff. And the second book takes place during um, the time when uh, Darcy and Bingley go back to London. So it was kind of interesting to see you know that that perspective of it. And then um, uh, the last one is uh, our these these three remain, bah! <laughs> is uh, the last part of the book. Uh, this was really, they, these these were actually pretty well written, I thought, um, and did a good job in incorporating Jane Austen's words into uh, uh, the stories. So I, I enjoyed these. Uh, the next one is <laughs> one of my favorites, Emoji, Pride and Prejudice. It is absolutely hilarious. Um, Let's see if I can find, um, the part that we all like. Oh, okay. I wanted to find the part where... Might be a good example. Oh, oh, so in the back also, they have kind of a who's who and um, a little guide to some of the emojis that they have. Um, so here is some of them. So here's where. Um, Charlotte and Mr. and Mrs. Bennett, they're talking about Charlotte getting married. Um, there's little introductions to, there's three sections in the book, um, and there's like little introductions to it. Uh, I love the emojis that they give. This is, uh, it only takes maybe about 30 minutes to read, um, but it's a cute one if you want to have a uh, Pride and Prejudice collection. So you can see kind of the little emojis. Uh, the last one is a graphic novel, and it's from Marvel, and it's Pride and Prejudice from Marvel. This has some of the most pretty illustrations that I've seen. Um, uh, Pride and Prejudice, I mean, just even the first one, you can kind of see um, the balls, when he proposes surprised and then upset. So it has such great illustrations. Um, and then in the back it has some like alternate covers for it that have uh, some pretty funny uh, scenes. What to think when he thinks you're thinking. <laughs> and uh, how to ignore Mrs. Bennett. So it's the, the same one alternate covers that are pretty funny. Uh, this was uh, written illustrated, so it was adapted by Nancy Butler and Hugo Peters. Um, so 
when I saw that Marvel had this, I had to get it because it was just so pretty and so nice. So there is my Pride and Prejudice collection. I hope you liked it. Hi everyone. Uh, today I wanted to do a video that I wanted to do for a while and it's uh, my Pride and Prejudice collection part two. Uh, a while, I believe back in February, I did um, my Pride and Prejudice collection. I had about uh, nine, ten books, and since then I've gotten another ten uh, Pride and Prejudice books, so I wanted to share those. So I actually put them into two categories, the fun versions and then the actual versions of the novel. So uh, I'll actually start by uh, showing you the actual versions of the novel. And my uh, previous video, I will link uh, down below. So, the first book is uh, the Barnes and Noble uh, soft cover of Pride and Prejudice, and it is so pretty. I had to get it. So there's a hardcover version of this, uh, but when I saw the soft cover, it was just so pretty, so soft, and that I had to get it. Uh, there's a little uh, thing for the uh, bookmark and it's uh, just a really nice uh, uh, version of Pride and Prejudice. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one is one that I saw and as soon as I saw it I knew I had to get it. It's the Pride and Prejudice um, manga. So with manga art. And the thing I like about this one, there, it's not just the cover that has the manga art, but like throughout the whole book. So there's some uh, Elizabeth and Darcy. So yeah, there, um, there's that there, and then throughout the book, here's the part where Elizabeth is walking at Netherfield Park. Mr. Darcy looking back at her. Um, I think this is where Mr. Collins proposes to her. So it, it was just so cute and so nice that I had to get it. And it's uh, one of my favorites. It's really cute. So the Pride and Prejudice uh, manga. And I believe it's from Seven Seas uh, uh, Publishing. So there's that one. The next one, it's so pretty, I didn't even know it existed until not too long ago, but it's the Pride and Prejudice Illustrated Edition. So it's hard covered, it's really pretty, and it's illustrated throughout the book. Let's see. So the first one I come is the picture of the Bennett family. So at first I wasn't too keen on the artwork, but it just grew on me. So um, I think Miss Caroline Bingley. There's little little ones like that. And then the house. Let's see if I can find so Mr. Wickham. Uh, in the middle of this, they have a, uh, let's see if I can find it. One of them going to Pemberley. So I really like this edition. It's so nice, so pretty. The letters are raised. So this is uh, one of my favorites. So yeah, I really like it. Uh, the next one, um, Friend got it for me. It's the annotated edition of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, there's not a lot of pictures, but there's just so much information in here. Um, if you like Jane Austen, or if you, the first picture of Jane Austen, or if you like the uh, history, you will definitely like this. Uh, kind of gives a little history of the book of Pride and Prejudice. Um, put into the middle. So, as you can see here, the middle part right here is the actual book. 
but they'll give notes on the side. So if they say, oh, 10,000 pounds, then they'll talk about the equivalent of that uh, nowadays. And then, or if they talk about um, a ball, they'll give pictures of the ballrooms. Or if they talk about a certain historical person, there'll be a little footnote of who that person was. Uh, so it just gives a, another insight into uh, Pride and Prejudice. So I really, really like this one, and it's such a pretty cover. So I'm very glad I have this one. Uh, so those were the four editions of uh, Pride and Prejudice uh, of the actual novel. And here are some uh, other fun ones. The first one I have is uh, a guinea pig, Pride and Prejudice. So it's really cute. Um, a lot of, there's just tells you which guinea pigs play who. Um, this is more like a display book, I believe. Um, Mr. Wickham and Mr. Darcy meeting. I thought that was cute. Uh, this one was uh, photographed and retold by Tess Gimmel and Alex Goodwin. So, there's that one. Another one I have is uh, Classics Unfolded, uh, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, you can find these on Amazon, and it's just uh, the story taken out of the sleeve, and it kind of gives you the whole story in... Uh, little form. So uh, I really liked it. Uh, it gives a little synopsis of it and then it gives the characters. Uh, but I really like the the paintings and the drawings. So here's some more. So this one was a very a very nice addition if you are collecting Jane Austen stuff or Pretty Picture stuff. Uh, the next one is Darcy Swipes Left. So this is Pride and Prejudice told through texts and emails and um, a dating app. So it's pretty funny. Uh, so it kind of goes of who's who. Uh, here's like kind of a sample. So it was actually a really, f uh, just a little uh, cute, f uh, fun read. Um, there's little parts of it where it's like, Mr. Collins asks Lizzie to marry him, Lizzie swipes left. Or Mr. Darcy asks Lizzie to marry him, Lizzie swipes left. And then Mr. Darcy asks Lizzie to marry him, Lizzie swipes right. So uh, it's pretty cute. So kind of a little spoof off of today's uh, dating apps. Uh, the next one I've had, I had for a while, but I forgot to put it in my last uh, book haul, but it's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Um, yeah, you, a lot of people have probably seen the movie that came out. Um, I heard that it's, I haven't read all of the book, but it, it's probably not a lot, lot like it. Uh, the book takes Jane Austen's actual novel and then j they just inserted and took out a couple parts and inserted a couple paragraphs of them fighting zombies and stuff like that. So this was a this was a fun one. So Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Uh, the last two ones are kind of uh, kid books. So uh, Lizzie Bennet's Diary uh, by uh, Marcia Williams. Uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies was uh, Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. So, uh, Marcia Williams, so there's lots of illustrations like this, and it brings the novel into uh, just easier language to talk about. And the thing I like about this one is that it's a bit interactive. So, let's see if I can. So, they talk about the Meriton Ball, and there's a little pamphlet of saying, oh, come to the ball. Um, here's a little note for Elizabeth that Elizabeth gets, and so you can read that. So this one was just super cute, super nice, uh, that I had to get it. A little, the express from Jane and the letter. 
Uh, I just really, really like the story of Pride and Prejudice, so to see it in this um, little form, it's very nice. So, Lizzie Bennet's Diary. And the last one is another kid book, uh, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, retold by Stephanie Clarkson. So it kind of goes a little bit more into that than just like a baby book, so maybe this is more taller up. But there's the family. Then it says there was two gentlemen who came into the neighborhood. So it bring it condenses the story a lot, but it's really, really cute. Mr. Collins trying to propose to Lizzie. That one. So, uh, yeah, those were the other books in my Pride and Prejudice collection. I, as you can tell, I really, really like Pride and Prejudice. Hi, everyone. Today I wanted to do my Pride and Prejudice collection part three. Um, on Actually, so on January 28th, 1813, that's when Pride and Prejudice was um, published. So it's about uh, 204 years old. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this for February, um, but since it was published on January 28th, I was like, let's do it in January. So I have another 10, 11 books uh, that I want to show you guys. And so all together now, I probably have about 31, 32 copies of Pride and Prejudice. So if you want to see some of the other ones, I will link uh, my first two uh, Pride and Prejudice collection videos uh, down below. So uh, let's get started. So the first one is the Pride and Prejudice um, Macmillan book. I don't know if you, it's very shiny and it's very pretty. So it has a girl in the front in the back and it's really small it's like the size of my hand uh, but it's really cute and it's part of um, a collection that um, someone gave me for Christmas so it's very pretty and it's I love these ones so the Macmillan one uh, another one is the Spanish edition of uh, Pride and Prejudice I thought I would start getting some uh, different languages ones. So I started with Spanish, Orgullo y Prejudicio. So I don't think I will ever read this, but I wanted one in a different language. So there's that one. Uh, the next one is Pride and, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, uh, forwarded and annotated by Erica Sevon. Uh, this is a kind of a companion book to the game. Um, you pro can probably see it like online in places, but uh, Marrying Mr. Darcy. So they just came out with a special Pride and Prejudice book to go with it, and I liked it. So Some illustrations. It's, there's no illustrations inside, but I like the cover. Uh, the next one is um, Word Cloud, I believe. Let's see. Uh, Word Cloud Classics, and I, you guys may have seen this um, on one of my book hauls. Um, the back has the first lines of Pride and Prejudice, the famous ones, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And then it goes on a little bit. And then in the front it has uh, words that pertain to the book, so it has like Jane Austen, Darcy, Bennett, um, Miss Judge, so I like that one. Uh, there are other classics in the Word Cloud um, collection that I really like. I really like the Anna Green Gables one because just I like the green in that one. But here's Pride and Prejudice. Um, this one, the next one is probably one of my favorites because I'd wanted it for so long and I finally got it. And it's the um, Book of the Month Club, uh, Pride and Prejudice, and I just love the illustration or the photos that they used for the the front. 
I believe they took them from the Victoria and Albert uh, Museum, and each of the books in the series has um, that photo, or a photo of, a, of an outfit. So I just really love it. And then inside has, uh, has some illustrations. Yeah, I always wanted a hard back cover ones, and these are just really pretty. Uh, the next one is uh, the Drop Caps Edition, Penguin Drop Cap Edition. I haven't opened it yet, but it's so pretty. Um, so what Penguin has done is they've gotten a classic for each letter of the alphabet. And so for A, for Jane Austen, and they chose Pride and Prejudice. Um, so I just really like that one. Uh, I think they have... Um, Bronte, um, they have book of poems, I think. Uh, so I kind of want to get the Bronte one, and maybe like the C, so I can have like A, B, and C. But yeah, so here's how the spine looks. Uh, the next one is um, the Vintage Classics. I like this one because it's very small, and it's very just, it's small, and the colors on it, I just really like them. And it's very uh, aesthetically pleasing. The back says, you must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. So I really like that one. Some vintage classics. The next one is one that I kind of splurged on. You, kind of, you guys probably saw it in an unboxing, but it's the Folio Society Pride and Prejudice. Um, I really want to get more of the books of the Jane Austen collection from the Folio Society. They're, they just package them so pretty. Um, they come in this slipcase, and again, the famous first line, it is a chief universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And then... The cover of it, Elizabeth and Darcy. Uh, there are several illustrations in here. I believe the illustrator are the Balboso sisters. Balboso sisters, yeah, Anna and Elena Balboso. You can see just some of the very pretty artwork that's in here. Um, if you want to see more of the illustrations, you can look at the unboxing that I did for Folio Society. And I kind of go through each of the books that I got and show the illustrations. So, yeah, this is one that I really like. And hopefully, maybe one day I can get the rest of them. Uh, so the next couple are kind of fun additions uh, that I have. Uh, the first one is Pride and Prejudice Manga Classic. So, uh, I, had, I have another one that has manga illustrations, but it's the actual novel, and then it's like really pretty manga. Uh, but this one is actually, the story is all in pictures. Um, you can see some of them. I started reading it. They changed some of the words of it, and, uh, uh, but you can still tell kind of like what the original Jane Austen was saying, so that was kind of fun to see. There's some more. I'm reading the letter. So this one was very fun. I kind of want to read this one just because I haven't read Pride and Prejudice in a while, but this just seems like a fun addition to do it. In. Uh, the next one is uh, Pride and Prejudice, the graphic novel. So uh, Marvel has come up with a graphic novel, uh, but there are several other people who have come up with graphic novels and I had to get another one. Um, so there's that. I like the back. Almost like watercolors, which is really pretty. Here's the beginning. Jane on her horse. Talking. So I really like the illustrations, so I just had to get it. 
And the last one is kind of a children's book, but it is Pride and Prejudice, Seek and Find. Um, around Christmas, I was at uh, Barnes and Noble, and I saw it, and I had to get it. Uh, they have ones for, like, uh, Christmas Carol and some other ones like that, but this one is really fun. So Pride and Prejudice, Seek and Find. And it goes through scenes of the story, but it has you, like, find the characters and find objects and things like that. It's Catherine de Bourgh's house. So, so those were another 11 uh, Pride and Prejudice books uh, that I have. Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books, so it's been really fun just, like, collecting these editions of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, so maybe later in the year <laughs> I will have another video. Hello everyone! Today I wanted to do my Pride and Prejudice collection part 4. So I actually was able to get another 10 copies of Pride and Prejudice. Um, so I wanted to share those with you guys today. I probably have about 40 copies of Pride and Prejudice um, because it's one of my favorite books. Um, so I was like collecting uh, different uh, copies of it. So uh, here we go. So the first one was gifted to me, um, and it is Pride and Prejudice in uh, Russian, and it's the movie tie-in book. I've been wanting to collect more copies of Pride and Prejudice in different languages, so I have one in Spanish, and now I have one in Russian, so I'm uh, pretty excited about it. I want to get one like in Italian and German, so I think that would be cool. So there's that one. Uh, the next two are kind of like children's books, um, but I really liked them when I saw them. So the first one is Pride and Prejudice, uh, retold by Gil uh, Travner and illustrated by Anne Krakenheimer. I think I want to get the rest of the collection in this because it is, I really like the illustrations and um, it's written really simply and it has like illustrations throughout the whole book. Um, I just love it. Um, it's funny because I kind of was kind of was skimming through it, and it starts with Darcy proposing to Elizabeth and her rejecting him, and it's like, how did they come to this place? So then it starts the story of Pride and Prejudice. Um, so I really like that. And then here are the other books in the collection that I really want to get. So I might have to get them because I really like this that much. So there's that one, and this is. Um, the Real Reads uh, edition. Uh, another one is um, Usborne book, uh, Pride and Prejudice. When I bought it, I thought it was going to be like a thicker version, like a thicker uh, cover. Um, but I also, again, really liked the illustrations in this. Um, that. Handing her the letter. So what I like about Usborne is that it, their art is really good. So this one is illustrated by Simona Brucey. So I really like that. Uh, the next two were also gifted to me. Um, this is the Cornman Pride and Prejudice. I like that it's really small, um, and, I, and I love the color blue. So I always like that. Um, yeah, and then it's kind of vintage papering inside. Another one is the Everyman's Library, Classics, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. So, there's that. Um, again, I, I like the vintage look of it. Um, underneath, look how pretty it looks. So, I really like those. The next one is the Oxford Children's Library edition of Pride and Prejudice. So there's that one. For some reason I thought this was going to have illustrations inside, but it doesn't. Um, so that's one kind of down thing because I do like the illustrations on the cover. But that's just back. So the Oxford Children's Classics. Uh, the next three are probably kind of my favorite ones. Um, this is Pride and Prejudice, and this is the pulp 
Classics collection. Uh, and the Pulp Classics collection is they take different classic books and then just put them with a pulp, uh, uh, kind of the pulp stories from the old 1950s uh, movies. So here's kind of some of them. They even have like um, Judy Garland and she's on uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. So I think this one is, um, I forgot who this one, the cover of this is. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, so, I'm pretty sure I know who this is, but I'm going to have to be reminded. So if you know who, what cover or what movie this is from, let me know. So I really like that one. Uh, the next one is probably one of my favorites. It took me a long time to get it, and it's Pride and Prejudice, The Classic Lines. And I love how just like it looks like watercolor. I kind of want to get like the Jane Eyre edition of this because that one is really pretty too. And I like how it is on the inside. So that one is a favorite. And, the front cover. and then the last one is one of the most um, recent ones I got and it's a book to table classic Pride and Prejudice. And it's interspersed with recipes from Martha Stewart. So, I, it's, even though it's pretty, you open it and like look how there's all these cookies. So, if you like baking and like like intricate stuff like that, so it is a truth universally acknowledged. And let me see if I can show you some recipes. So, yeah, then it's interspersed with recipes of like cakes and tea stuff. So I really, really like this one. So there are another 10 books in my Pride and Prejudice collection. So here are the books that, the new Pride and Prejudice books that I have. Um, they're all kind of different. Uh, the first one is the Pride and Prejudice uh, coloring book. Um, I've had this for a while. Uh, I think I colored a page. able to color a page um, but they're just really nice um, intri intri intricate drawings of um, stuff very Jane Austen -y stuff so it's it's pretty fun if you like um, uh, adult coloring books um, the next one is kind of a children's book and it's a collection of the Jane Austen stories um, it's from Usborne, but I think this is the British version, so it actually has all six um, uh, of her novels, and I think Sanditon in here. Let me see. Uh, oh, Lady Susan. So it has Pride and Prejudice, Northanger Abbey, Emma, Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, Lady Susan, and then something on her... Um, uh, on Jane Austen's life. So I like the illustrations. I like that it's all her books. Let's see if I can show you some more. So here's one for Emma. Um, here is the, kind of the intro page for Pride and Prejudice. So I really like this one. Um, if you like Jane Austen books, this is like a nice one to have to your collection. And then uh, I have a graphic novel of Pride and Prejudice. Um, there are several graphic novels that um, I've I've got uh, over the past uh, few years, um, but this is another one. Uh, kind of see the illustrations. more illustrations so I had it when I saw that there was another one graphic novel I had to add it to my collection um, this one is actually 
It says Edgerton and Diaz. And then there's another children's book that I got. It's Pride and Prejudice. This is the Lit for Little Hands. Uh, I like getting the children's books also of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, and this one's super, super cute. It actually uses kind of the words from the book. So, near a town of Meryton lived Lizzie Bennett and her sisters. And then there's a little thing here that says, It is a truth universally acknowledged. And then you open it. That a single man must be in want of a wife. And... You can see Mrs. Bennett. Um, so it's pretty. It's pretty uh, simple, simple language. But then there's like the little things um, uh, from the book. So she is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me. And then there's Lizzie, rolling her eyes. So it's really cute. There's a little pocket for the letter. And then. So this is a really cute one that I liked. And then the last book, Pride and Prejudice, this is a, a limited edition from uh, Nerdy Post. Uh, it's really pretty, you can see all, kind of all the uh, peacock feather is right there, there's the peacock. I, it taught me to hope as scarcely allow, as it, it taught me to hope as I scarcely allowed myself to hope before. So, that's very nice. So, and this is actually the novel. So, those are some of the Pride and Prejudice books that I got um, uh, within the past year. Hello everyone! Today I wanted to do another Pride and Prejudice book haul, part of my collection, books that I have. Uh, I have about 40, 50 copies of Pride and Prejudice, and I got some more. So I have five new copies of Pride and Prejudice and a Jane Austen game that I want to show you guys today. So I'll first start by showing you my Pride and Prejudice books, my Pride and Prejudice book haul. So the first one I got is, um, uh, I believe it's Penguin. It's a Penguin book and the uh, illustrator is um, Ruben Toledo. Uh, she, uh, they've done some really nice illustrations. I have their Jane Eyre one, and I had to get their uh, Pride and Prejudice one. So there's that one. It's uh, paperback. Another one is this one. I just really liked this one. I like the uh, the girl sitting at a desk. Um, uh, this one is. Uh, illustrated by, let's see, um, it's a modern library uh, edition, and I don't see who it's illustrated by, but it's the uh, modern library edition, and I just really liked it. Uh, another paperback one is one that I thought was pretty fun, and it is uh, learn French with Pride and Prejudice. So it is the whole book of Pride and Prejudice, but at the beginning of each chapter, uh, they give a list of French words, and they replace those words in the chapter with the French words. And each couple chapters, they add new words. So by the end of the book, most of the chapter is in French. So I don't know if I'll do it, but it, this is kind of uh, a book that I want to read. So just to pick up a couple French words, I think would be fun. So it's Learn French with Pride and Prejudice. Uh, they also have some other ones. I think they have like a Sherlock Holmes one. Um, yeah, so very fun. So the next book I have hauled before, but I didn't have it in my Jane Austen book haul. And it is Pride and Prejudice Letters. Um, the complete novel with 19 letters uh, of characters' correspondence written and folded by hand. Uh, it's curated by Barbara Heller. I love the inside pages with the peacock feathers. So Every little, every couple pages, little bit, there is a 
pack. And in the pack, a little envelope type of thing, there are little um, letters. You see, it's Bennett, it's Elizabeth Bennett. Um, and I don't want to open them because they're, I open them and then they're very hard to fold back because they're just very intricately folded, kind of like how they did it uh, back then. Uh, and I don't really know how to do that. Uh, so they're just really nice. Uh, I saw a little video on this book on YouTube. Um, I forget where I saw it, uh, but it was like the curator had gotten different handwritings and kind of matched them to the personality of who was writing the letter. So I thought that that was really just a fun little touch that just everything has like different handwritings. Um, and I think she said that the handwriting they based Elizabeth Bennett's letters on um, was Jane Austen. So I thought that was fun. So I really like that one. Um, and then just the whole book, there's just packets and letters. And it kind of just makes the story come alive a little more. Now, this next book, uh, you have seen um, other books in the series. And it is this Pride and Prejudice book illustrated by Miriam Baston. And it is such a beautiful book and it definitely makes Pride and Prejudice come alive. Um, there, I think there's like 10 or 10 or I forget uh, the number of things that, uh, little things that they included. So let's see if I can find all 10 and show you. Um, just really pretty, beautifully illustrated. Um, so they have like little things on Jane Austen. Oh, so like the first thing is, um, in the book, someone mentions, Would you, wouldn't you like to dance the reel? I think Mr. Darcy says, and here's a little paper and it tells you how to dance a reel. So that was pretty fun. Um, there is uh, a little invitation to uh, the Bingley's party, I think. Very nice. Uh, here, a uh, map of London, which is very nice. Um, something about, I think they mentioned something about music and they have like a sheet of music. I like how they made it like very old looking. And then, of course, Mr. Darcy's letter to Elizabeth. Mr. Darcy's in care of, in care, I like how it was in care of Mr. and Mrs. Collins at Huntsford Rectory, Huntsford. So I really like that. And then when you open it, it's. Darcy's letter. Yeah, it definitely makes the book come alive when you see these things. And then here's a little thing on Jane Austen. Mini biography. Oh, there's a little one. Um, they say they sat down to play whist, and here's the rules for whist. And then the last thing was a little, I think it's a Bennett family tree. So they're all illustrated by the same person, and it is just so beautiful. So I think the other ones in the collection, well, the two ones in the collection that I have over there, um, uh, Jane Eyre and Emma. I don't know if they're going to do all of Jane Austen books, but if they do, I want to get them because they're just so beautiful. So those are more books in my Pride and Prejudice collection.
Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do a special unboxing. It's a Pride and Prejudice unboxing and then do a little mini book haul. Um, so this is the Lit Joy new edition of their of classics that they're doing of Pride and Prejudice. And I also ordered uh, a couple of the add-ons so that I'll show you. So So I've got a couple stuff here. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so first I will do, uh, let me do the book first. So this is an edition of Pride and Prejudice. I like how they wrapped it. It's all in bubble wrap. Oh, I just should have picked it up. bubble wrap and thin it's a, it's a beautiful edition of Pride and Prejudice. One side has Mr. Darcy, one side has Elizabeth, and it's a kind of gold foiling. So it's very pretty. Slipcase. Gold edges. Don't know if you can really see that. On the back has Pemberley. Oh, this is just such a beautiful addition. It's Pride and Prejudice. Now, I was able to get the, one of the first kind of thousand books, so it is numbered. And let's see. I got five hundred and fifty three. Book five fifty three. Um, there's a little letter from the join here. Lettering. And then throughout the book there are um illustrations. So I'm going to give you a little closer look at that. So here are some close-ups of the Classics Edition. There's Elizabeth, Kimberly, another close-up of the case, Mr. Darcy, and the front. It is just absolutely pretty. So uh, the beginning and it is the first quote is it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. The first pages let us in live joy numbered 553. And then let's see. The first illustration is this one. It looks like it's of the Bennett sisters and Mr. and Mrs. Bennett. Very nice. And then the next one I think is yeah, this, uh, this one. It looks like it is probably the Lizzie and Jane walking at their house? I'm guessing. <laughs> and another one. That looks like a, oh, a playing card. Oh, I missed one illustration. And they're dancing. Oh, and then each of the volumes are put like that. Some of the pages are the, the gold is make it stick together. Here's where Elizabeth sees Mr. Darcy's portrait. I really like this picture. 
Last quote it says, I could have easily forgiven his pride if I if he had not mortified mine. So there's some close-ups of the Pride and Prejudice book, which is absolutely lovely. So this book is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I just I really like it. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the other books in the series. So I think they're going to have uh, Wellington Heights and then Jane Eyre. I'm probably going to get Jane Eyre, but I wasn't sure about Wellington Heights. But now after seeing how beautiful this book is, um, I kind of want to get that one. Uh, so, ah, it'll be like that. And then I also got two of their book add-ons. So the first one is a set of notebooks. That kind of go with the illustrations of the books. So there's a smaller one and it's lined. And on the back, there's a little quote that says, What are men to rocks and mountains? And then another of the notebooks. These are kind of nice notebooks to like have in your purse or just on your desk. I think this is probably one of my favorite illustrations. And then, We are all fools in love. And the third notebook. Is looks like they're walking at their house. And it is the truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. So, famous opening lines. So there's that. And then I also got another little add-on. Um, another little trinket tray. Since I like trinket trays. And this one. Ooh, this is pretty. Is... Of Elizabeth. It's very pretty. I uh, don't know if you can see here, but it's kind of black and white picture, but with um, kind of rose gold foiling um, instead of just gold gold. So it's really pretty. I really like that. And on the back it says Lit Joy Classics. So that was the Lit Joy Pride and Prejudice book. Really love it. So pretty. Um, also, I have gotten a few other Pride and Prejudice books, so this is kind of like my Pride and Prejudice collection number five or six. <laughs> um, you can uh, go on uh, and see the other videos of all my other Pride and Prejudice books because it's my probably one of my favorite books. And I was able to get two other editions that I really enjoy. Uh, the first one is uh, the cloth bound edition of Pride and Prejudice. Um, it's, it's a really nice edition. I like the paper. Uh, this, what kind of wanted me to get it was, uh, I saw, uh, was it uh, Kate Middleton? She had a whole, the whole collection of the cloth bound editions of classics and they just look really pretty on her desk. So I, was like, I have to get the Pride and Prejudice one. So I have that. And then another one, which is a really another beautiful edition, is uh, the cutout edition. So I really enjoy this one, Pride and Prejudice. I love the color, kind of the 
aqua blue, and then and I think this is I think they put out four every season uh, this collection and I think this is part of the winter collection because there's a quote on the back um, it says you and Papa and my sisters must come down and see us we shall be at Newcastle all the winter and I dare say dare say there will be some balls and I will take care to get good partners for them all so that's an interesting quote because it's from Lydia um, I've never seen a Pride and Prejudice book with a quote from Lydia, so that's interesting. Um, but it references winter, and I think this uh, kind of season's cut out edition uh, was for winter. So, very, very much love those books. So, hope you enjoyed that book. Hope you uh, really like the Litjoy uh, Classics edition. Hi everyone, I am back. I have some more Pride and Prejudice books that I added to my collection. Uh, if you guys follow me, I know it's been a while, but uh, I have a Pride and, Preju Pride and Prejudice collection. It is probably over 50, 60 editions, and I have um, videos for every five to ten of them so I have a playlist I'll link that below but here are six more uh, books that I got and I really really like these ones uh, so the first two are kind of more children's editions but they're just really fun and that I really enjoy them so the first one is Pride and Prejudice uh, real reads so retold by Gil Travner and illustrated by Anne Kronmeier and just the illustrations, I really like these. Um, you can see the, the look of Elizabeth and Darcy. Uh, it's written for younger readers, uh, but the illustrations are just really nice uh, and is uh, fairly uh, well condensed. So um, just very well put. Uh, I read part of the persuasion one and I just I just like how they phrase things like you can see here the remnants of Jane Austen in the way they uh, kind of retold it so I like that so that's the first one the second one it's a UK edition book um, I think it is hatchet children's so awesomely Austen uh, collection I think for this series and this series I'm really tempted to get just the whole series because they're just fun. Um, you can see the characters. Uh, <laughs> I like what they put down here. It says, Witty Words by Catherine Woodfine and Delightful Doodles by Eglantine Kilmas. I hope I'm pronouncing those correctly. Uh, but they have the whole collection. Uh, again, uh, this is a chapter book, but it's uh, condensed but it has illustrations um, whenever I see children's book uh, editions of classics Elizabeth with Lady Catherine uh, I always want to see kind of how they uh, they kind of bring it to a children's uh, uh, for, for, for kids and I really like these so that's the second one uh, the next three are uh, kind of just really they're the whole book but they're just really nice additions uh, I haven't taken the, these some of these out of their plastics that they came in this is the fingerprint classics and this is like the special edition uh, it has gold foiling it has a ribbon I believe uh, yes it has a ribbon uh, and I believe the illustrations in here are from the original, uh, the original illustrations that they have. So that is another one. I really like the back and the gold foiling with this one. So another one that I added to my collection. Uh, and the next two I really, really, really like. Uh, again, this one I have not taken out of it's the foiling this is from nerdy ink uh and she's making a jane austen collection i know she likes jane austen so uh emma 
I already pre-ordered the Emma one um, because it's just really pretty. Uh, so there's that. Um, and all the illustrations inside are kind of like this. So they're not story story illustrations, but they're more abstract, but just very, very pretty. This came, uh, if you pre-ordered the first book, it came with a, a little edition of Mr. Darcy's letter. So I really enjoyed that too. And the next one is one of my favorites. I saw it online and I had to get it just because how pretty it is. It is like another special edition. I believe it's um, Union Square & Co. special edition. And it's they have these like watercolor illustrations. And they're just so beautiful. Like you can see Mr. Darcy's glare at Elizabeth or look at Elizabeth and Elizabeth's dress and yeah, it's just, it's just really pretty. Let me see if I can show you a few more. This one's a little more abstract of the ball. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, the Folio Classics. Here's where she finds out about her sister, but just really pretty uh, illustrations inside. Um, I just had to add to my collection. So the last one is not a Pride and Prejudice book, but it is a book that popped up probably because I keep searching Jane Austen stuff. Amazon like kept showing it to me and then I had to look at it. It is a Jane Austen escape room book, but it is Pride and Prejudice and Puzzles. So basically, it takes place after Elizabeth goes to uh, visit Charlotte, and things happen where Elizabeth gets amnesia, and you have to puzzle the whole story back. Um, I did the first couple. I'm going to try not to tell spoilers in case you guys want to get this book. Um, it is so for example there's i think 18 puzzles in here and they start easy uh the first one is elizabeth wakes up in a carriage and she has to figure out where the carriage is going by just listening to the people around her so there's a map and then you have to like kind of puzzle that out another one is a maze but you can't go certain places in the maze um uh you it says that you have to have like scissors and tape and pen and paper when you do this uh, book. Uh, I haven't gotten to those parts yet, but I don't know if I should buy another book so I can like destroy that one and like do all the puzzles for that one and then keep one really nice. Um, but I think there's another one where there's like a sheet of music and you have to like piece it back together. Um, but yeah, so I am super excited to get into this one, especially since it's like, you have to help Elizabeth get to Mr. Darcy. Uh, so yeah, so those are the books in this next part of my Pride and Prejudice collection. Anyway, uh, which one did you like the best? Um, I really love the, just the illustration on those. The kids ones are super fun and the escape room is just, I'm super excited to do that one. Anyway, if you have done the escape room one, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.